2001 Lexus LS 430 I'm chasing a uh, battery drain alternator is good the battery is good I have my uh, Vantage Pro hook up in series uh, on the uh, ground side there you can see that's a switch blade there and uh, I have a hundred and seventy milliamps of uh, current going through my meter right now and uh, Last night I had this meter in series and it was fine. I had like a seven milliamps of, of current and then uh, You know it was then I parked it in a garage I set up with a I called the customer and told him that I really cannot find anything and uh, so he did tell me that if he drives it every day it's okay but in the last two months or so he made a trip for and he was not home for like uh, 10 days and when he got home he was he, the battery was depleted to the point that he could not start the engine and uh, sure enough this 170 milliamps will do that to the battery if you drive it every day, this is not normal, but if you drive it every day, this should not make a, this should not be a problem. But if you leave the car for 10 days, it will drain the battery. And um, now I got my voltmeter and I st started to uh, check in a voltage drop across my fuses. Basically, you just take the, uh, you put your meter to a millivolts <coughs> DC and you put your leads across these uh, fuses and you're looking, looking for the voltage drop. Now there has to be absolute zero, cannot be any voltage drop. When you're talking about the voltage drop, you're talking about a one or two milliamps. I'm sorry, talking about one or two millivolts. And uh, it's supposed to be zero. So once you find the fuse or the circuit basically where you have a small voltage drop across the across the fuse, that circuit is alive. <clears throat> so I have checked this and, and I couldn't find anything. Then I uh, went to this fuse box here. Uh, there's uh, like a there's some fuses there. You can see the fuse box. Now, <clears throat> in order to uh, access your car, ha car has to be asleep. So you have to um, uh, on, on this car, the door switch is actually here. So I put my clamp over the door switch so that car can go to sleep. Now, if it's in your car you'll have to actually close this latch so but you gotta be able to keep the door open but at the same time the car has to be asleep so you have to or close this latch here at the door or make sure that you don't have the door switch somewhere here or maybe in front of the door so anyhow so car is fully asleep and uh, you can see the internal lights are not on and uh, so next step is to uh, take your voltmeter you you can start pulling the fuses out but that can be a problem because it can uh, wake up some modules and stuff so uh, <clears throat> so basically you gonna take your leads put them across the fuse and looking look and you're gonna look for a voltage drop I'm gonna leave my camera on the um, voltmeter so you guys can see the uh, reading on it so basically again uh, I'm just gonna use these two leads and I'm going to put them across the fuse and uh, we're going to look for the voltage drop and this is for example one of the fuses I'm having my lead across the fuse and you can see it's absolute zero and go to the next one absolute zero so I'm gonna go to this fuse. I'll show you which one I'm. I'm just gonna get my leads. It's a seven and a half amp fuse, and you can see I have it one. So 1.1 millivolts of voltage drop. Uh, when you get something like this, you make sure you're gonna wiggle your leads. Make sure the leads are, you know, touching the fuse, so you don't get the you don't get the false reading. And uh, while I am on a fuse. This fuse here, well, this fuse here, and it's a uh, top right, and it's reading that voltage drop. Basically, this circuit is alive. Looking at the uh, cover here, and uh, this is my fuse here. It says seven and a half amp OBD. That is my OBD. To a connector. Well, there's nothing 
there to draw the current. I was a little confused and I was thinking maybe maybe it's this one, this should be my cluster, but I look again, it is this uh, seven and a half fuse here. So anyhow, we're talking about this this fuse right there. And so next I'm gonna look at the uh, OBD2 connector and uh, what do we see at the OBD2 connector is something is plugged in and I'm gonna unplug it OBD diagnostic scanner for a Android or, or a uh, iPhone and let's look at the current now and there we go down to uh, 60 milliamps so that little guy was draining my battery. That's interesting. So that is how I have found, you know, this would not be a problem if you drive the car every day, but if you, uh, if you leave the car for, you know, 10, 15 days, these things are, you know, driving a current. So this is okay. I'm, I'm happy with the, 50 or 60 milliamps, that'd be fine. But that was that was my problem. Let's plug this back in. There you go. I don't have 70 milliamps again. Okay. Well, that should take care of it. That was my draw. So, you know, just make sure you don't leave anything plugged in and it can drain the battery. And that's a, that is a way to uh, look for a parasitic draw. Once you, once you determine that you have a draw, then you need to go from circuit to circuit. Again, another option is to keep pulling the fuses, but that's a problem because every time you put the fuse back in, you can wake up some of the modules and those things can, and then you have to wait for car to go back to sleep. Now this car actually goes to sleep pretty quick, but newer cars, it may take 30 minutes to go back to sleep again, and you're just wasting your time. But yeah, this is it. All right, all right, guys. Uh, this was a little frustrating because last time that was kind of odd because last night it was fine; it didn't draw any current at all. Uh, don't know what was going on, but uh, anyhow. Uh, it was kind of odd because last night I actually had like literally 7 milliamps of current and now I'm having like 50 but <clears throat> the car was actually locked so I'm going to try to uh, lock the car and see see what happens. I'm going to take this off and you can see and the lights is on and so I'll close this. Now what I had to what I should have done actually I should flip my switch back so that I don't, I don't blow my fuse okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the car I'm gonna leave the guy plugged in and see what happens okay car is locked and uh, that's why that's why I have the switch in series because if I if I lock the car you may have too much current, you may blow the fuse and of course you don't want all this current to go through these small leads. So now I know the car is asleep or it's not drawing more than 10 amps of current. So I'm going to open the switch and now we should see, there you go, 160, yeah, still the same. It was really strange because Last night, it did not have anything. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, just go out and go here. I saved it and see if I still there or not. You can see right here. Now the green trace is my battery voltage 
and um, and a uh, uh, this blue trace is my is my uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you can see it was pretty much at zero, and these are when I woke when a car woke up in the morning, but. And there was nothing going on. So, I don't know. But anyhow. This is when I locked the oh crap. I locked the car here. Anyhow, I mean, it really didn't have any. Oh, come on now. A little rusty, and uh, I'm gonna leave this cursors actually. Okay. So now let's see. All right. So you see the cursors. This has a point uh, seven milli milliamps. There were nothing going on at that time, but now it's, you know, even with that little guy unplugged, it draws like 50. But I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm just a little confused. Yeah, I cannot have my cursors on. But you could see, let's see again. See if I can move this a little bit more. There you go. You can see this whole time. Uh, it's a five. I mean, it's nothing. This is the battery voltage, but all this. Uh, let's move a little bit more. A little rusty on my vintage, but. I like this tool because I can, I can, I can, uh, you know, it's in internal amp meter, and uh, I don't have to worry about my current clamp running out of battery. And I really love this tool. And this is unfortunately is the only one that have this option. Modis doesn't have. This is the only one that has this internal graphing uh, amp meter. And uh, so here, uh, this is kind of waking up. So this is when the car was asleep, let's go there real quick, but it was pretty much nothing going on. So I'm a little confused, again, as I said, now it draws around 50 milliamps, but... Okay, so, you know, cursor's number one and number two, they're pretty much at zero. Current was at zero, so I don't know. And uh, so anyhow, that's I said. That's why I like like this tool. It will uh, give you a graphing. So still drawing 170 milliamps. All right. So I'm going to unlock the car, pull that out. Uh, just to repeat it one more time. No. Put this switch back in. Okay, take this guy out. See, let's lock the car now without. Up. All right, it's a uh, 60 milliamps. It's okay, but it may take a little longer to completely go to sleep. But uh, that was definitely a problem. That's that was what was uh, during my current. 
All right, guys. Uh, just uh, again, you gotta put your whether you're graphing multimeter or, or you're graphing a, a amp meter or you have a digital doesn't matter or your amp clamp whatever you use you have to figure out first do you have a intermittent problem or you, it is a constant draw if it's intermittent problem you're just wasting your time if it's not happening as you're testing the car you're just not gonna you're not gonna find it you have to wait for that to happen again and um, and then uh, you start you know you have to now in some cars also you have to watch the hood sometimes there will be a switch here and a car may not go to sleep if there is a switch on the hood so all these switches have to be closed but you got to be able to have your door open to access all your uh, fuse uh, all the fuse boxes and uh, anyhow and then you just go um, now of course if you have uh, this type of a fuse you cannot do that you'll have to unplug it or maybe pop this cover off and check for the for the uh, voltage drop or the pull the fuse out and then test it that way and then uh, anyhow I'm just talking too much that's the that's the way of finding these these things but they can be sometimes very 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 difficult but this one was fun all right see you guys thank you bye bye